All right, this is going to be fun, Dr. Kelly. Oh, yeah, yeah. But guess what? School is about to start up again, right? Yep. Pretty soon. Not so long. I understand you have some back to school projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do a lot of programs with agents, like 4 H agents, okay. and we do a lot of different things and do, do school programs and uh, work with teachers to have mm -hmm. ideas for things to do. And it's becoming so important that we engage our young people yes. into nature. And I was showing you in this week's Time magazine, there is an article about mm -hmm. how it has now been scientifically proven that the time we spend in nature has therapeutic value. It lowers blood pressure, it it's, uh, makes us feel better, mm -hmm. lowers anxiety and depression levels. So there's a lot of really good, good reason to engage kids in outdoor activities early on. And yeah. to do it through school or at home, you know, either way is great. Mm -hmm. But I have some things here that I want to share with you that okay. I have done in the past with kids. And one of the fun things that we have done is to show children how to press flowers okay. or press leaves or press anything that will go flat between <laughs> <laughs> absorbent pieces of newspaper. That's and a great. lot of people use uh, like big uh, encyclopedias mm -hmm. or big phone books or things like that. To, and here I've got Queen Anne's Lace, and you can see oh, it's pretty nice. flat. Yeah. Now that's been in there a while, and you put it between pieces of newspaper and then put that in like a big book. Or you can do something small like this. This is just a little plant press that I made. You see it's got my name on it, so <laughs> nobody messes with my plant press. And you connect it with like a rubber band to go around it, and again, it's got... Uh, so I think I do it this way. It's got the pieces of newsprint in between the pages, and I just did this little petunia yesterday. Ooh. And now, uh, typically, you would not be looking at this and messing with it until it got good and dry, and then you can pick it up and then do fun things with it. You can make a, 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 le a collection, like a lot of students have to do right. a flower, mm -hmm. wildflower collection or a leaf collection. So you could do that. That's a school project that's okay. required for some high, high school students, nice. you know, to do that. Or you could do a really nice, and these are my four-leaf clovers. Since I'm uh, Irish, I'm really lucky that? I can really find four-leaf <laughs> clovers. So I press them and then I frame them. And this is my good. Nice. Or you can get more elaborate and do something like this. That is nice. Really artistic, mm -hmm. you know, and, and kids are great at this. And you just attach the, the dried plant material with Elmer's glue. Okay. And then, you know, put it in a picture so frame. Something easy to do for the yeah, kids. Yeah, something like fun. That. It like gets that. them outside, gets them collecting things. And this is a bookmark mm -hmm. that's made. That's the Queen Anne's Lace that I showed you. And this is really fun and easy for kids to do because this is just cardstock. And then you cut it the exact dimension of just old plain clear packing tape. <laughs> And the kids don't have to cut it, you know. They just put this thing on there, zip that over there, and then they get a hole punch and stick them some yarn or there something, you know. So, and here's another one. So, Pretty all neat. kind of fun yeah, stuff. That and neat. that, yeah, uh -huh. yep. So that's the using, the, and you can you can go out with the kids and collect uh, all kind of fun things sure. in the in the fall with kids. We do scavenger hunts. We give them a list. You know, get something mm -hmm. stinky, get something sticky, <laughs> get something fuzzy. <laughs> All kind of good stuff. Yeah, and All I got to show you this because okay. it's got our Mississippi State oh, stuff yeah. on it, right? So this is like a list of some of the scavenger hunt things that we do. Something that smells good, something that's got a leaf insect or disease okay. damage, something to get the kids out and getting getting fun things to do. So that's good Great. stuff. Yeah, huh. yeah. Now, now tell us what else you have on the table. Well, here. yeah, this is another good yeah, thing let's talk here. About that this one. is yeah. Let's look at this. This is a good. First, I want to show you this. Now, you know, a lot of people like getting newspaper and they just throw it away or use to start fires. Well, you can make your own little propagation like seed that. cups. And you just shred up. This is just newspaper. Shred it up and uh, put in a, a bucket or something and get it really good and wet. And then you get your cup about this size right here. You pack all that in there, you know, pack it around. And then just set it up somewhere to dry. 
and then while it's drying, you can you can poke a hole through the bottom mm -hmm. for drains, but you don't have to because it's you know it's it's going to lose water from the sides anyway. Okay. So that's a fun project for kids. They get to get wet. They get to get messy, which is good for kids. Yeah, kids like that. Yeah, they, sure do. they do. And then they can, this is something that we have done with the kids too. This is a wildflower seed ball. I like that. And all you do is get wildflower seed, or you could just use zinnia or just any kind of flower seed. Okay. And what you do is you get them out, you just get some old clay from some place <laughs> that's not any good in the garden, you know. So you get your clay soil, and then you get them to put the seed all in a bucket, and they get to get in the mud and get it all like this. And getting dirty. And and nasty, get dirty, like yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, and then they wipe their face. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and then they put them in little balls and set them up and get them hard, and then in the fall, when you sow your wildflowers, mm -hmm. like in October, you okay. know, they just go out, take them home or part of the school garden, throw them out in the edge of the lawn or something where they can, as the winter rains come, and you know, the beat on the soil and spread sure. the seed around, like nature. It's right, kind of like right. you're mimicking nature. Now, some of the kids get really creative, <laughs> you know, and make little faces, like this is a sweet gum ball, and this, this child did, I think that's some kind of sea creature. And yeah. this is an old eaten up pine cone. Bass. Yeah, that's a large mouth bass. <laughs> yeah, see that mouth? Yeah, he's saying, go dogs. <laughs> go Mississippi <laughs> State, right? Goes. <laughs> that's good stuff, though, yeah, Dr. Kelly. Yeah, yeah. And then we want to, you want to show these? Yeah, yeah, if we got time? We do, we do. Okay, this is, this is all to encourage, uh, you know how you said responsibility mm -hmm. and leadership skills? Well, this kind of gives them some responsibility. These are little plant head or plant creatures that you can make, and it, they're made from a knee-high hose. Now, you fellas probably don't know what that is. I don't have a clue. But it just goes up to your knee, and it's just a hose. This one's white. This was maybe a nurse. This okay. was a nurse's or something, maybe. Nurse's. I don't know. But anyway, this is, uh, this is just you pack soil, and you put rye seed, huh. like rye grass uh -huh. or uh -huh. uh, creeping red fescue okay. or some small kind of seeded grass right in the, in the bottom or the toe of the stocking. Okay. And then the kids, of course, decorate it. This one, she's got some ear bobs. So we used How about to that? Yeah, ear bobs. Ear bobs, friends. okay, ear not ear bobs. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're too young to know about ear bobs. <laughs> and then they put the little eyes, little googly eyes. And then the child has to take care of their plant. Okay. And you put it, this is the wick that brings the moisture up, you know, and then it'll germinate. And obviously this child did not take care of Hazel here. Oh, she, Hazel. She succumbed, <laughs> succumbed, I guess the way you say it. But anyway, you can do uh, a caterpillar like this. This is, again, it's just the knee-high hose that is uh, segmented. Okay. You know, you'll Sneak. put the, and then the seed is distributed throughout the soil. Okay. This one, you just put it in the toe because you don't want hair growing on Hazel's face. Okay. <laughs> you know, the grass coming out her face. But on the caterpillar, it's just interspersed. You mix it with the soil first and then just put it in the stocking and, and then tie a knot okay. in the hose. These are just knots in here in the hose. And then, of course, the child has, has decorated the face. And that's just that? cute as it can be, yeah. And then the little tail and then the grass comes up. And I have yeah. seen them uh, trim their, you know, trim, they'll cut their grass. And, and, you know, this one, I had even one child that let it really grow long, uh -huh. and then she platted it. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cute, yeah. How about that? So, and that teaches them some responsibility and, you know, the, and the needs of a plant. You know, they need light, they need water, you know, those kind of things. All right, well, Dr. Kelly, that's some fun stuff. I need teachers to really enjoy that. I think that's pretty good.